in java programming language today we are going to talk about methods methods uh, as we have mm, learned and seen in different languages like c c++ and other languages uh, their the methods are called as procedures functions etc methods are basically a set of code which takes some input from the main program and it returns some output so to make program or code more manageable more readable more easy to debug these functions are used you will see the example and you will yourself understand and feel that your program has become somewhat more easier and understandable so let's get started let's make a new project in netbeans java application and name it as per your choice let me name it as methods finish it you can make a main class also now before we, i go ahead we have a method in this class called methods the class we, we just made this already contains a self explanatory and default method which is called as main this main is a method how do you find or how do you indicate that uh, some name is a function it is actually followed by round brackets so main has round brackets in front of it it is a function what is a function what is a method it takes certain input these these are the inputs or this is the input there is only one input and the return type is this the word which is just preceding the function name is what it is a return type or it is what the function returns so main takes this input and this is the output let me make another function and we don't have to go anywhere else because we can write function straight away because main function is already written here so you don't have to go anywhere else because in c we make a main and then we go uh, to either the end of uh, the braces of main or above the main here we don't have to go there and it means you can start making your function here itself let us make a function to square value okay so let's give it a name you have to give a na uh, give a name to the function then as i earlier indicated that you have to pass some value means you have to tell the function that you have to square this particular value you have to square this and give it to me so let it be some number this is called a formal parameter because the actual parameter will be sent by the main main is the main main is the main function it will only uh, you know message or communicate with this our function so it will pass the value we'll see how we pass the value but right now we have to have a dummy uh, you know variable to accept that particular number this is the return type you know square of two integer or one in square of uh, uh, integer multiplication of that two values what it will give it will give you an integer only so this is a return type i am speaking it again and again because these two are the most important thing this is the input this is the output say you um, you know given a work to a contractor that this is the money and you go and you make a house for me so input is the money and output is the the house so this is the money this is the house make it static because we have to have only one instance of it static okay and what will we write in function body we have to square it we have to square the value so what we'll do we will just return number into number i'll just copy it number into number so our function is ready now we have to go to the main function and let's 
initialize some value say say 6 and we will pass it we will pass it to this function how what we can do we can make a variable called result and this result will take the value which is returned by this square and what we will pass we will pass the num n u m and if you want to show it you have to use a system dot 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 printer in this is how it is shown system dot auto printer in number or say num because this is the variable 6 square equals and this is the result the result now we are ready to run the program because this particular this particular thing will will give the result because we have called the function here so it should give 36 6 square equals 36 now I don't want to use these two lines I want to print I want to print the say result in system dot out dot print and only so what I'll do I will just change this and I will place square number means num I will pass here itself you know num is 6 it will go here this is a formal parameter number into number that is 6 into 6 and return is int so the return value will be placed here and that will be printed in system dot out dot print 6 square equals 36 you see how easy it is to make a function ok I will just make one other function to cube and you know how to change I will just name it as cube and multiply one more number this number into number into number is cube and what I will do is I will copy paste this line and rather than calling square I will call cube and you will see that this particular line will show the cube this will show the square so 6 square equals 36 and 6 into 6 into 6 is 216 so this is the simplest method which we can make and this is how the main program calls the function and there are various things which are there these are formal parameters these are the actual parameters and I purposely name them differently number and num because I can name them number also that will not have any effect if I give it as number num to num br because both the variables that used in the function and that used in the main can be similar or they can be different thank you so much hope you understand the usage and application of methods in java thank you so much